Hi, this is uh, Chorus Folder, and uh, today I'm going to present you an, another uh, open source project. Uh, its na its name is Restaurant Management System, and uh, the source code for for this project uh, is available on um, description section. You can click on that link, and uh, you can download them. And as well as on that page, uh, I have uh, given a uh, steps steps uh, uh, to install them on your local machine. But if you refer to uh, go through from like a uh, video, and uh, I have uh, provide I will provided that too, and and then I will like uh, uh, give that link too for installing the restaurant management system on your local machine. So let's start <coughs> this system so uh, uh, the credentials are as usual uh, admin admin dashboard and this is the admin dashboard and uh, this information can only view by the super admin the normal user like for, like staffs or uh, members cannot view this information uh, so only the super admin can view this information so uh i think uh yeah yeah i think like there uh, there are eight uh, modules on this uh, system uh and they are like uh, user groups stores tables category products orders and report uh i'll go through them by one by one uh before let me go uh company information so uh you can uh, update the company information like company name, uh, the charge, service charge amount, of uh, the batch charge. If you leave, if you left this input field empty, then uh, while creating an order, uh, the service charge will not be included. So if you don't want to use uh, the service charge amount, then you can leave leave this field empty. Uh, you you'll get this point or uh, on this order sections for for right now. Let's skip that part. So the same goes to this one. Where charge and and uh, this is the company address, phone number, country and the message and the currency. They will uh they, they, the company uses. Uh, okay, you can save them, and this is another user functionality. Uh, the user can view their general information like username, email, first name, last name, gender, phone, and group. And they can update their personal information so it, it will get updated on this part. So, uh, this is like a uh, personal information, and as well as you can update the password. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, uh, let's move on to uh, the store now so you can see uh, right now we have five stores uh, on the system um, so uh, the restaurant can have like many branches or many stores uh, with the same name so uh, uh, using that idea the stores are created so uh, you can add uh, Add a new store, like you can add a new store, store one. I'm so sorry, store six active. Uh, a new store has been created. You can update them uh, inactive and you can delete them too. Successfully removed. So, yeah, that's all. So, let's move on to tables. Okay, uh, uh, as you can see, the admin can view a uh, store. As well as table name in this part, right? But but um, but but the normal user like staff or member they can only view the table name based on the store. For example, uh, if the user is assigned to st uh, store four, he'll he'll only be able to view the table name which is on the store four. If the user is uh, uh, assigned to store 3 then he, he can only view the table based on store 3 so this is how it works so uh, yeah, I, I, I'll uh, log in uh, with, uh, with a normal user 
to give you a more example. So let, let's log in. So you can see, so, so you can see there, like I, uh, the user is assigned to a store for, and he can only view the store for information. So let's go back to admin bar. Okay. So the same functionality is like other. You can the validation. You can update them. Table name, capacity, uh, active store. And you can update them and you can delete them too but right now i'm not going to do anything it's the same so the category or uh, this other global category that will be used in every store so we don't need to assign them based on the store but if you have like uh, your requirements you can add them at later point so yeah, the same functionality add edit and delete so let's move on to product so uh, they are like only a product name price description category store and active so uh, let's add spicy drill chicken that's all uh, in here it contains the uh, products recipe recipe and more and more blah 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 so, yeah so uh, you can assign them to many categories but I'm only going to assign this to the chicken and the so same goes to store you can assign them as many store as you want but I'm but but I'm only going to assign to the store for and yes it is active so you can see the spicy drill chicken has been created for store 4 so you can see there's only store so you, or you can only see there's only three products based on store 4 right yeah yeah so you can view the catalogs uh, like this category has this products this category has this products yeah so uh you can create an order so uh, i'm gonna log out and i'll sign as uh, star uh, staff and create and i'm oh, sorry an order so you can see there uh we only able to see, uh, see the two tables on the store floor uh -huh. and you can view like uh three uh uh products on store floor so uh we should be able to only view like two uh tables and only three products okay the store the the one store like store one should not be able to view the store two data now uh, only the super app should be able to so let's create an order so yeah i'm not going to give him a discount so let's create an order so order is created and you can print the bill so like uh, bill id table name store for uh, store and yeah table name store okay I'm sorry that, that this this bar was a little mixed up okay uh, let me update them give me like a few seconds uh, products it's updated so yeah it's updated yeah it's, it, it's on store 4 and table name and how many items did he bought so it's only one item okay 
so so uh, by uh, creating an order for a ta for a specific table for like for this table the table should not be available so it's not available because because they are they are the customers sitting there eating and and and, and if uh, the users come like for another customers come into the restaurant uh, the the staff can easily view to which which tables are available and how, how many capacity they have on that table and 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 manage the customers in more appropriate so so if uh, the customer uh, wants to pay the bill you can update them print the bill you can see it's been printed as you can see the VAT charge is only 13 which was assigned in the company info so if you change that to 14 uh, uh, based on that the value will be the amount will be changed if you add that service charge uh, based on that uh, the service charge will be charged so uh, let's update then and move back to back to the order this part is paid yeah and this is available so yeah that's all for the staff our staff so he can uh, update and delete for and this functionality is done from our uh, permission uh, where admin has given so for example as you can see staff as you can see or uh, the staff can create the order update the order and view the order he cannot delete the order he can only view the products he cannot add the products he can only view the tables he cannot update the tables he cannot delete the table he cannot create so, so, so he has only this much privilege on the system so if you like so if you want to uh, uh, staff staffs to view 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 like the profile you can assign then let's go back to the see and you can view that he can view this was not included before but now it's it is so uh so you can he, he can view his uh, username email first name mail and everything so let's move to the last part that is uh, our report so uh the admin can view the total paid amount or Paid, um, paid amount for that or so for uh, this was created by this date and he can see that he has uh, total 67 paid orders and this shows the total for all the yearly so he uh, the, uh, uh, the user can change the date but right now uh, we don't have the data so we're not able to view them so the another report is they can view by store so if we go to store for yeah we can view uh, uh, our orders paid orders 41 if you go to store 3 yeah we have like 26 amount go to two. Oh, yeah no orders has been created for store 1 and store 2 you can the uh, the admin can view all that like store four and store three only. So, so till now store four has three orders and store three is has uh, uh one orders one order. So that's all for the system. 